Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be looking at how you would take attendance in PowerSchool. So you're going to use the same PowerSchool entry as you did to find information. It's the power teacher, the P with the white background. You'll click on that and again it brings up the screen with the list of your classes and the different icons. Uh, so this time you're going to want to click on the chair to take attendance. So let's do 3A. If you click on the chair it'll have all the students that you have in that particular class. Now there are several ways that you can do this. If all of the students are present then you would just click submit and then you're done. You don't have to worry about it. And as soon as you do that the circle turns green and that's a visual indication that you took attendance for that particular class period. However, if you have a student that's absent, what you can do is one of two things. If there's only one of them, the quickest and easiest way is to click on the box twice, scroll down to 2A, and then click Submit. However, if there's more than one, you can come up to where it says Attendance Code and click here, and then if you'll choose the correct code, if you click in the box, it changes it. So let's see that one more time in the next class. So let's say he's absent today. You could click here and then click there. And anywhere you click, they'll be marked as absent. Occasionally, you're going to find yourself in a situation where you need to mark attendance for more than one day at a time. This is where this grid comes in. So if you click on the grid, it'll bring up last week, this week, and next week. And then you can take attendance by clicking on the boxes. Much in the same way. Anywhere you click 2A, it will change it. Okay, and so that is how you take attendance.